Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownHouseLiving.com and today I'm super excited because for the first time I got a robot vacuum cleaner and I'm really thrilled to try it out. It's by a company called Robit. So what I wanted to do is to show you what it looks like in the box and it comes with a nifty handle and it's not that heavy so you can easily bring it in your home. Those things mean a lot to me. I always like to you know, check out what companies do when they ship these types of products. And I like to show it to you guys as well. So what I'm going to do today is unbox it and show you how it works. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside the box. It comes really nicely packaged. So you get a nice packet with all the information. And this is the actual machine itself. And I'm gonna just take everything out of the box take the plastic off and lay it down so you can see. I just want to show you what comes inside the box. Of course we have the Robit vacuum base and under this lid is the filter and you easily pop it out so that you can clean it which is really nice and the Robit has 100 minute long lasting runtime, which is great and it knows when it's running low and it goes to the base automatically to charge. You also get, of course, the charger base and you get some brushes. I guess those are the side brushes. There are four of those. There's a nifty little cleaning attachment brush that comes with it, an extra filter that comes with it, and of course your charger so you can plug it in and charge it and your remote which is really neat everything is made really top quality so what I'm going to do right now is charge it and then show you what it's like when it's plugged in and again I'll have the specs running across the screen so let me get this plugged in and then I'll show you what it looks like in action okay so so what I want to do today is just give you a quick tour of what the robot looks like and some of the different features so as you can see it's pretty lightweight but yet it's substantial in size and weight it's about average to most of the other robot floor vacuums that are out there on the market and I want to just show you some of the features real quickly so what this has is a bumper guard around the edges so that when it does come in contact with chairs and other pieces of furniture it gently gives them a little bump and then guides the robot in a different direction. And underneath the hood, we have a very easy to clean basket and you do get an additional filter, as I showed you. And all you do is pop this out and put the new one in so it's pretty easy to clean. And then to clean it, all you do is flip this open. And as you can see, there's a filter and I was using this downstairs so there's some dirt in there and I wanted to show you that. I just had vacuumed my floor so they weren't too dirty but I was able to still pick up some additional dirt which really tells me that my vacuum cleaner is not working as good as it should. Okay, so that's really, really easy to pull out and clean. And of course you don't want to add water to the dust collector. You wanna keep this nice and dry. So it's very easy to pop this out and clean it. And let me just flip it over. Oh, but first, this is what lights up. Uh, you can also push this button to activate it, but this is what lights up to let you know that it's charged or that it's charging. So it's green when it's fully charged, yellow when it's in charging mode. So on the flip side, we have some pretty substantial wheels and they work very, very well on my carpets and especially on hardwood floors. Now you don't want to use the robot on very thick carpet because it will not be able to like dig the wheels into the carpet and turn and do what it needs to do. I think it said anything over three inches in piling is not recommended and most folks don't have that thick a carpet unless you have a shag or something like that. And we have our little dust wheels that pop in and out very easily so as you can see if you need to clean them all you do is pop them off and then pop it right back in 
we have our um, another wheel up here that rotates 360 and that helps guide the robot over here we have our magnets that when it needs to go home and charge it will it will go to the charging base and come in contact here and here and it will self charge and this of course is the charging base it's very small and lightweight and all you have to do is plug it into the wall and bam you're ready to go so this right here is the suction piece this sucks up all of the dirt and it has a nice rubber guard around that as well and again I will have some of the other specs running across the screen for you to see because it does have a lot of other specs to it and I will make sure that I run those across the screen so you can see it. So I want to quickly go over with you what the remote buttons mean and of course they're highly detailed in your quick start guide as well but let's just go over them real quickly so right here we have our standby or power button then we have our home button right there which is back to charge the next button which is this like double twisted arrow is random cleaning mode the button next to it is spot cleaning this Wi-Fi button does not work on this model then we have our direction wheel and of course we have forward backwards and side by side and the button in the middle is start or pause so if you need to stop cleaning for some reason just press this pause button and then you can just press it again to resume the buttons on the bottom this is auto cleaning mode and this is one of my favorite buttons it just you just press it and it just automatically cleans and makes sure that it covers everything this little cloud button does not work on this model then we have easy cleaning edge mode and the two buttons at the bottom are suction control so if you want lower suction you press that on the left and then for higher suction you just press the one on the right so excuse my fingerprints all over it um, I've been demoing it and that's been putting fingerprints all over it so sorry about that it's very easy to clean too I just took like um, a microfiber cloth and I just wiped it down which is another thing that I really like about this and as I was using the remote it worked great when I pushed the home button it knew exactly where to go it took its time to get home depending on how far away you call it if obviously if it's close to home base it'll get there really fast if it's at the other end of the house it takes a little more time but one of the other features that I really like about Robit is it goes underneath all the beds and couches very easily and it got to all the hard to reach areas very effectively and those areas I'm showing you in a video while I'm speaking are like underneath the couch underneath my pantry and underneath my china cabinet like that and it worked flawlessly and perfectly now they say that this is ideal for pet hair or hard um, like hard floors and carpets and that's exactly correct now my dog doesn't really shed a lot but he does shed and what you saw in the basket was like a lot of his pet hair and a lot of the dirt that my other vacuum missed Right now it's in random cleaning mode. And there we have Ollie checking it out again. I'm gonna leave it on random cleaning mode just to make sure that it cleans the whole top floor of my house. It's doing a great job finding its way around that thicker pile of carpeting uh, on this area rug that I have right here. It's making sure that it's getting all the edges, which is great. As you can see, those little brushes are hard at work. Making sure that it's picking up all of the dust and debris on the hardwood floor.
So let's see it negotiate around the stick. Oh, did you see that? It knew perfectly that the stairs were there and it's backing away brilliantly. So I want to give you a quick demo of how this works on wood floors. And now I'm going to put it in cleaning mode. Start random cleaning mode. And this is the random cleaning mode. And of course, Oliver has to check it out <laughs> because he does not know what it is. So as you can see, it's cleaning my wood floors perfectly. It's just doing a random cleaning mode. Let's see how it negotiates that mat. And it went over it perfectly. So I want to quickly demonstrate for you um, this feature right here on the remote. And that's called auto cleaning mode. Start auto cleaning mode. And this is one of my favorite modes for cleaning. It covers every inch of your rug and it does it in a very methodical fashion. So it'll go through the entire room. It'll get all of your edges and it'll go cleaning in like a straight line back and forth. Also an important point or tip, make sure that you pick up all cords or for instance, if you have curtains lying on the floor, you'll want to make sure that you lift them out of the way. You don't want anything catching in your robot. Like any traditional vacuum cleaner, you would have to make sure that you do that. So make sure that you lift curtains or extension cords or anything like that off of the floor. So as you can see, it's moving very nicely. It's getting all the edges in this room. It'll go underneath the bed. It'll go around any legs or chairs that you may have. But again, it's also a good idea to pick up any chairs or if you have a bed skirt too, you want to make sure that you lift the bed skirt, tuck it in because it will get caught up in your vacuum cleaner. So all in all, I absolutely love my Robit cleaner. I will have all the links and information for you in the description of this video as well as in the article that we're writing on sassytownhouseliving.com so be sure to check that out also please subscribe thumbs up this video i would greatly appreciate it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below i'll make sure i answer each and every one of them thanks again and have yourself a great and safe day